Hey guys. Well, today I want to talk about Corrosion X. I don't know if any of you have heard of it. I've come across it on uh, several different forums and uh, quite a few people talk about it in the RC community. Uh, a lot of people use it for waterproofing. It's safe for all electronics. Uh, in some cases it can actually restore functionality to water damaged uh, products and it's an awesome rust proofer, lubricant, penetrant, it does pretty much everything. It's pretty amazing stuff. You can't buy it just anywhere. You can't walk into Canadian Tire and pick it up. Uh, you have to order it from a distributor. Um, for me, I live in Canada, BC, the entire province. There's only one place to buy it. So I had to order it and ship it to me. This one can, after shipping and everything, because it's like a hazardous material, <laughs> pretty much. I had to ship it by ground. Can't ship it by air. It cost me 30 bucks for one can of this stuff. However, a little goes a long way. I've pretty much waterproofed everything I own with this stuff. Uh, I tried making a couple videos earlier and whatever, they didn't turn out and I messed it up. So here we are. Today I'm going to waterproof my Bluetooth module. I know it's a small unit, but this is for my... Uh, this guy over here. That uh, Sky RC Toro. SC120 competition speed control. What it allows me to do is I just plug it in, they dock it up here. When the car's running, I can make programming changes on the fly via my smartphone without even having to plug anything in or even bring the truck in, take the body off, do anything. I can do it all on the fly while the truck's running. Just gotta stop and make the changes, apply, and go driving. So, I thought I would show you how to waterproof it. So I've taken the screws apart and basically broken this down to the circuit board. And as I said earlier, this stuff is safe on electronics. So you just spray it right on. I don't like to waste it. You can get this in a couple different forms. One is the aerosol like this, which was pretty much all I can get. Also, there is different brands. There's Corrosion X, there's Corrosion X HD, which is actually a little bit thicker of a... Um, it basically puts a, like a barrier on the board um, that basically will not allow water to penetrate it. So that's how it keeps water out. It's pretty amazing stuff. They use it in a military application. It's really like the only thing like it. Now I'll try here and let you read it a little bit, but it's uh, my flash is kind of messing this up. So anyway, whatever. So I like to reuse it, I'll spray it uh, into something like this, get a little bit in there and then I'll just dunk this in there, just drop it right in, dunk it in, pull it out and then uh, I'll dump this back into here and save it. So at the end of the day, I'm not wasting, that's what it looks like, it's green, it smells, uh, there's just something in there, I don't know what that is, oh, that's from the spray bottle, it's the little filter on the bottom, it smells like motor oil, like stinky or actually it's probably a little stinkier than motor oil but very similar smelling and I've had a really good success with it so far I've waterproofed um, like I said that ESC over there all my receivers as you can see in this one it's an exposed receiver so I waterproofed that uh, I've waterproofed this ESC as well which is 120 amp like hobby wing 2.1 uh, I've waterproofed all my servos yeah Pretty much anything that's going to be exposed to water, I've waterproofed with it, and I've had great success, no problems so far. Uh, yeah, and this is one thing I haven't done yet, so I'll show you how we do it. Okay, so basically this has a steel ball bearing in it. You need to shake it up for a little bit. Just drop the part in there. You'll see it. It'll foam up quite a bit when you spray it in here. But it will settle down. Literally, that's all I need. I don't need to put any more than that in there. It actually basically attaches itself to metal. Won't let go. So that's basically it. I'll let that sit. Some guys are crazy, but I'll leave it for days to soak in this stuff. Uh, you can do it that way if you really want to, but you don't have to. They say you don't have to. Maybe I'll put a little bit more in there, but really, you don't really need to put much. 
Um, yeah, and then I'll pull it out. I'll let it drip dry, maybe for a couple hours. It'll just sit there, and it will air off. A lot of it'll come off, and then I'll just pop it back in the case. You can try and wipe a bit of it off, but the whole point is to leave some of it on there. You want it on the surface of the board to protect it from water. So don't clean it off after. You want to leave it on there. Uh, you know, maybe clean the contacts and stuff like that. But for the most part, just let it air dry. So that's basically it. After this, I will take the remaining bit of that, put it back in the container so I can save it, reuse it, and there you go. So this is how I waterproof my stuff with Corrosion X, and it works great. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the description below. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button for me, and we hope to see you again. Thanks for watching.